Tonight I'm here to give the house the bad news. Humanity is heading towards oblivion. While we mostly faff around in this place, talking and making laws about anything but the most pressing issue of our time, the world is getting hotter and we are locking in our demise. As, as many scientists have said, we are buggered, we are rooted, we are stuffed. It is time to explode the great lie that everything is okay. The great lie that we we can address climate change without radical and rapid action to decarbonise our economy. The great lie that we have any chance of keeping global warming to 1.5 or 2 or even 3 degrees if we keep up this passive, incremental and sober approach to climate change. The, the time of baffling expedience and half measures is over. We are in the time of consequences. While we argue about whether we can afford to buy tiny reductions in our emissions in Australia. We're busy exporting hundreds of millions of tonnes of coal and completely blowing our carbon budget out of the water. We're completely ignoring mentioning climate change in the intergenerational report and fossil fuel exports absolutely uh, skyrocket. As we head into as we head into what is called the Anthropocene Epoch, scientists have now determined that we are in a new epoch of of humanity, one that is characterised by mass extinction, extinctions. 75% of the species on Earth expected to decline. The Anthropocene, our age, the human age, affecting the entire biosphere, will be categorised and recorded in the future by a thin layer of radiation left ge geologically plastic and chicken bones that was what we that that is what that is what we will be remembered for the um the the uh, scientists now estimate that our chance of meeting two, de two degrees have disappeared. The CSIRO, the CSIRO, I name them, the scientists who guide our thinking and should guide the policy making of this government now say that our children, I notice some people opposite are smiling. I'm talking about the mass extinction of life. You're laughing. The end of civilization. Why do you think that there was a global accord to try and keep warming to 1.5 or 2 degrees in Paris? The scientists now say, with China's, China's emissions rising, we are heading to at least 3.1 degrees. Mass extinction. A complete catastrophe for agriculture. A complete catastrophe for, for agriculture. The systems that sustain us. The, the capacity of our uh, uh, oceans to absorb the, that CO2, and we are now heading to um, that uh, beyond what we had, were, had been agreed in Paris. Most, uh, according to An Andy Pittman, director of the ARC Centre for Excellence for Climate Extremes, said most scientists th think two degrees compared with three industrial levels to be aspirational, said Andy Pittman. Um, the uh, Bill Hare, Director of Non-Profit Science for the Think Tank Climate Analytics, said the planet is currently on course for 3.4 degrees warming, although planned as yet unimplemented climate action could trim that to 3.1 degrees. But we've, what we see is a ramp up in China's economy, heavy industry starting back up there, absolutely blowing the world's carbon budget out of the water, all all based on uh, continuing to burn um, fossil fuels, and Australia is part of that. We, the, uh, the, um, the scientist, the Nobel Prize warning scientist Paul Crutzen, who, termed the, uh, uh, the, the, who, who coined the term, term Anthropocene, uh, uh, identified the, a great excel acceleration in the impacts of uh, humanity on the planet. And no greater impact will we have is that if we cook the planet, if we cook our planet, Australia exporting, hundred, New South Wales exporting, <laughs> hundreds of millions of tonnes of coal, it burning massive climate extremes around the world, huge impacts. And I note today the consensus with Australian farmers is that we are now facing climate extremes. Gone are the days when Tony Abbott could stand at Shepparton with farmers and say climate change is crap because those farmers feel it. They see it in the changes to the, 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 the plant growth. They see it in the changes to the weather patterns. They see it in the changes that mean that they will not be able to feed us. And without our farmers, we have nothing. We will have to fend for ourselves. And without a stable climate, we have nothing. It's time to act 
or die. Order, order. The Honourable...